Being an actor, writer, producer, and director, Perry has achieved success in large part because he owns everything he puts his name on. According to Forbes, he is the sole owner of all of his creative work, and this has helped him become a billionaire. Yes, in case you were unaware, Tyler Perry is worth over a billion dollars, and how he spends all that money? Let's see. But before we start the video, please subscribe to the channel. 5. Cars just like all the other rich, Perry also owns an elaborate collection of supercars. This includes a Glacier White $300,000 Bentley Continental GT Sport, an Arctic White $245,000 Bentley Bentayga, a $350,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, a silver $110,000 Fisker Karma, a $120,000 Range Rover Sport, a $120,000 Cadillac Escalade, and a 1974 Cadillac DeVille. 4. Airplanes Tyler Perry has a Gulfstream 3 jet. The plane costs $125 million and has a capacity of 14. The capacity for the crew members, however, is only two. This large, luxurious aircraft comes equipped with a 42-inch HD LCD screen, multiple Blu-ray players, and a satellite TV. Additionally, there is theater lighting, electronically controlled window shades, furniture decorated in white leather, and dark wood. There is also gray and black carpeting throughout the cabin. 3. Tyler Perry Studios Tyler Perry founded TPS, or Tyler Perry Studios, a well-known American film production facility in Atlanta, Georgia in 2006. The celebrity then unveiled a brand new studio residence in 2019 after spending $30 million on it up front and another $250 million fixing it. The studio was situated on the 330-acre former military base Fort McPherson. At Tyler Perry Studio, Perry also supervises the work of other directors. A strip mall, a nearly perfect reproduction of the White House, a golf course, a trailer park, a five-star hotel, an airport terminal, and a 16,000-square-foot home are just just a few of the permanent sets that take up almost 50,000 square feet of the studio lot. For their productions, major companies like Netflix and Amazon shell out millions of dollars to rent the space at the Tyler Perry Studios, and this is the same site where movies like Meet the Browns, Zombieland Double Tap, A Jazz Man's Blues 2022, and others have been produced in the past. My audience was there supporting me, helping me build the studio, helping me get secure so that I can. Enjoying the video? Then please hit the subscribe button and help us grow. 2. Philanthropy Another hobby of the billionaire is making donations to others who are less financially fortunate. In the past, the billionaire has contributed $100,000 to the legal defense fund that was established for Kenneth Walker and took 65 children from Philadelphia on an all-expense-paid trip to Walt Disney World. The latter is estimated to have charged Perry somewhere close to $200,000. In July 2020, he distributed gift cards to local grocery stores worth around $50,000 to help people who needed them. In addition to that, the man is the director of the Perry Foundation, which assists in a variety of fields including health, human rights, and education. He donated $1 million to the NAACP in 2009 to commemorate the organization's centennial, another $1 million in 2010 to the survivors of the earthquake in Haiti, and yet another million to the Texans affected by Hurricane Harvey. One. Real estate. Most of Perry's earnings go towards his properties, which he has quite a lot of actually. One of Perry's mansions is located close to his 330-acre studio plant in Fulton County, Georgia. If you're arriving by plane, it even has a small runway and a private jet hangar. He spent three years working on the 35,000 square foot estate's design, and because he wants his son to truly appreciate the earth, environment, and animals, the large 1,200-acre property will also be converted into an organic farm booming with horses. The tycoon also has an $18 million Beverly Hills mansion that he bought in 2004. The 25,000 square foot, eight bedroom, 12 bath property came with a three car garage, a billiards room, a home fitness center, a wine cellar, and a disco room. The residence is just around the corner from Kendall Jenner, Christina Aventa, DJ Khalid, and Charlie Sheen. He also lived in a majestic $8 million mansion in Atlanta. This site boasts a 70,000 gallon infinity edge pool, an underground ballroom, and an emperor-sized wine cellar. Nonetheless, he sold it in 2016 for $17.5 million. Surprisingly enough, Perry has another $7.6 million mansion in Georgia. The 32,000 square foot Alabama Road home in Johns Creek sits on top of a 58-acre property and is now worth $40 million. The neoclassical house has eight bedrooms themed in all kinds of styles, yet the most remarkable feature of its interior is the Venetian Brunelli Cathedral. But 
wait, there is still more to Tyler Perry's portfolio. He owns a $4 million, 16,000 square foot mansion in Fairburn. The property has two prayer gardens, tennis gardens, and an amphitheater. The front driveway winds around a large fountain and greenery, whereas the tall gates ensure privacy. Perry also has a home in the most unexpected place, Wyoming. This $1 million property is where the Hollywood Walk of Famer sits and writes. Perry's other vacation home is a 14,000 square foot mansion in the Bahamas. The home sits on one of the two Bahama islands he owns, a 25 acre and a 7 acre island he bought for his 40th birthday. Though the islands were listed for $7 million, the final price remains unknown. So what's next for Perry? Enlighten us with your thoughts in the comments. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time. I don't care how many people love you and encourage you. When God has a dream for you, it is your dream.